This is going to be an HTML CSS tutorial on how to create multicolored lines of text. Let me jump over to my web page here and show you what I'm talking about. This right here is what I will be creating. You can change the uh, color of a single word within a line of text. You can change it on each word. You can change it on each letter. Let me uh, jump over to uh, VS Code and get started here. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now and I have just a uh, simple HTML page. It's just basically the uh, HTML boilerplate here. I have no external style sheet or anything like that. I'm just going to do some inline styling. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of the body tag. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create an H1 tag. I'm going to close that and I'm going to type how to change the color. I'm going to capitalize color of text exclamation point. Say that I wanted to change the uh, color of just this one word color here. The way to do that, the way that I'm going to do it, you could do this many different ways, but I'm going to do it uh, with a span tag. I'm going to erase the word color. I'm going to create a span tag here. I'm going to close that tag. Now I'm going to put back in the word color. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the N on the opening span tag. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to uh, use some inline styling here. I'm going to type style equals double quotations. In between those double quotations, I'm going to say color and I'm going to pick uh, red, the color red. I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to open up my web page that I uh, that I just created here. And right there, how to change the color of text. And you can see the uh, word color is now red. Let me jump back over to VS Code now. I'm going to put my mouse cursor at the end of that closing H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter a couple times. I'm going to create another H1. I'm going to close that tag. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing H1 tags. And from here, I'm going to create uh, some span tags. And just after the N on the opening span tag, I'm going to place my cursor in there, make a space. I'm going to type style equals double quotations. I'm going to type color colon space. And I'm going to repeat this uh, span tag uh, five more times. I'm going to copy it. Place my mouse cursor at the end of the closing span tag. I'm going to hit enter, control V, enter, control V, enter, control V, enter, control V. I'm going to scroll up just a tiny bit. Now I'm going to copy this entire section here, the opening and closing H1 tags and all the span tags. I'm going to copy them. Just take a little shortcut here. I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of that closing H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to go control V to paste it. Now on these upper span tags up here, I'm going to place my mouse cursor just before the double quotation on the top span tag there and I'm going to type green And I'm going to make a uh, semicolon. Make sure you add a semicolon. And in between the opening and closing span tags there, I'm going to type green. Now I'm going to go down to the next span tag and uh, put my mouse cursor just before the double quotation. And I'm going to type red. And I'm going to make a semicolon. Now I'm going to place my mouse cursor just between the opening and closing span tags there and I'm going to type red. I'm going to do the same for the next line here. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just before the uh, double quotation and I'm going to type blue. 
I'm going to make a semicolon. Make sure you add a semicolon on each one. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just between the opening and closing span tags there and type blue. I'm going to go down to the next one, place my mouse cursor just before the double quotation. I'm going to type tan. I'm going to make sure I make a semicolon there. I'm going to put my mouse cursor between the opening and closing span tags there and I'm going to type tan. I'm going to go down to the next one here, place my mouse cursor just before the uh, double quotation and type orange. I'm going to make a semicolon and I'm going to type orange between the opening and closing span tags. Now I'm going to go up to file, down to save. It's showing that I have five errors here, but that's actually the span tags that I added here. That doesn't matter, I haven't completed them yet. I'm going to jump over to my web page here. I'm going to open my web page. I'm going to hit refresh. And there's a, a group of words within an H1 tag that I've changed the color on each word. I'm going to jump back over to VS Code. And down here, this uh, bottom row of uh, spam tags, I'm going to place my mouse cursor just before the double quotation. I'm going to type red. I'm going to make a semicolon. In between the opening and closing span tags, I'm going to type an H. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spell happy between these uh, opening and closing span tags. A P P Y. Now on the second span tag here, I'm going to put my mouse cursor just before the uh, double quotation and I'm going to type yellow or I'm going to type tan. I'll do tan instead. Yellow won't turn out too well. I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to go down to the next one just before the double quotation. I'm going to type blue semicolon. The next one I'm going to put my mouse cursor just before the double quotation and I'm going to type green semicolon and I'm going to go down to the final one here put my mouse cursor before the double quotation and I'm going to type orange I'm going to put a semicolon there make sure there's a semicolon after each one I'm going to go up to file down to save I'm going to jump back over to my web page I'm going to hit refresh and there each letter the color has changed for each letter. That is how you change the color of text within lines of text. Thanks for watching.